Hey, what's up? Mirai here, and today we'll be taking a look at how to set up a mapped key. Setting up a mapped key can be intimidating for those who are new to all of this because if you've never done it before, well, there's kind of a lot going on in that section of IS Boxer. Now, to start this off, you'll have to understand a few different terms that I'm going to be using. I'll be talking about key maps, mapped keys, and in game key bindings. First off, a key map is just a collection of mapped keys. That's all it is. If we didn't have key maps, then you would have all of your mapped keys for all of your character sets in one long list, and that would probably be pretty overwhelming, not to mention unbelievably inefficient. With key maps, we're able to separate our mapped keys into different sections, which makes them easier to find and gives us more flexibility overall with how they're ultimately used. Quick side note, if you use the wizard to create your team, you can choose to automatically have it set up some useful key maps for you to start working with. Next, we've got mapped keys. The only thing I'm going to mention about mapped keys right now is where to find them, so that everyone knows where to look when I mention them. This is a key map, and these are mapped keys. That's all you need to know for now, and we'll dissect a mapped key in just a few minutes. Last but not least, I'll be talking about in-game key bindings. Now, when I refer to an in-game key binding, I'm referring to the key that you would normally press in-game to do something. For the most part, these get set up outside of Iceboxer. In-game key bindings is more of a generic phrase because not every game calls these key bindings. I just want to make this clear because if you start up your game and you don't see the words key bindings spelled out for you, they might just happen to be called something else. But to keep this video simple and straightforward, I'm going to be calling them key bindings. Now that we've established that, let's get down to it. In IS Boxer, you've got two different ways to set up mapped keys. You can have IS Boxer automatically set them up for you, or you can do it manually. Lax has recently added a mapped key wizard into Ice Boxer, and I'll tackle that method first. You can access this wizard through either the wizard's menu up top, or by right-clicking on the words mapped keys while browsing a key map. Using either method is perfectly fine, and both will bring you to this same pop-up window. The first step is to pick which of your key maps you would like to add mapped keys to. If you don't happen to have any key maps already made, you can create a new one by right-clicking on the word key maps in the top left pane and then giving it a name. Step two of this wizard will ask what type of mapped key you would like to create. You have a few different options here and each of them has a description as to how they're used. I'm going to keep this simple by choosing the most common option, a straight key broadcast. Step three is where you add the keys that you would like to broadcast across your game clients. Start adding keys by clicking in the top section here, and then press each key that you want to use one at a time. You can use keys with no modifiers, single modifiers, multiple modifiers, or even mouse buttons. Now, if you happen to be overly excited when adding keys to this list and you make a mistake, you can just select what you don't want in the box below and press the delete key on your keyboard to remove it. Once you're done adding keys, move down to the target for keystrokes drop down menu. In IS Boxer, setting a target means telling the software which character or characters a particular hotkey is going to be sent to. If you expand the drop down box, you'll see a list of targets that are available for use in your IS Boxer profile. When setting up a mapped key, the most commonly used targets are going to be either all with current or all without current. This example shows how these two different targets are handled by IS Boxer. All with current includes your active window, also referred to as the main window, or your main character. On the other hand, all without current does not include your active window, and it only includes your slave windows. Once you've set your target, you're probably good to go and can click finish. However, if you happen to be creating mapped keys for movement, then you'll need to select the hold option below. And at the very bottom, you'll notice the activate option, which is pretty much personal preference as to whether you would like your mapped keys to fire off when you press the hotkey, release the hotkey, or both. Click finish when you're done, and that's that. As you can see, the wizard is pretty simple and straightforward, but what if you need to fine tune or change an existing mapped key? Well, that's one thing the wizard doesn't provide, and if you need to make specific changes to a mapped key, you'll need to dive directly into IS Boxer and get a little dirty. If you navigate back to the key map that we were just working with, you'll see our newly created mapped keys. You can click on a mapped key to bring up its properties. In here, you'll notice the same few options that we just saw in the wizard. 
What's important to note is that the hotkey assigned here is the key that you will press on your keyboard to fire off the actions listed in this mapped key. Specific actions are located under each step of the mapped key itself. If you expand the mapped key and click on a step, a new pane pops up listing its actions. When you click on a particular action listed here, its settings will then appear in the pane to the right. Now, I'd like to go over one setting in particular, key combination. It's important to note the description below it. This is the key combination the game will receive when you push the hotkey for the mapped key. It does not need to match the hotkey. Now, if, if that doesn't make any sense, check this out. I'll use the same mapped key we were just looking at as an example. First, you've got your hotkey, which is the key that you press on your keyboard. Second, you've got the action in step one, which could be considered the core of a mapped key. Last, you've got the key combination, which is output from the actions and is then sent to the game. Here's how this works. When I press 1 on my keyboard, Iceboxer receives the key, executes the actions in step 1, and then outputs the key combination to the target that I have chosen, which is all game windows. That's how a straight key broadcast with one step and a target of all with current would work. The key combination is essentially the in-game key binding. In this example, if I don't have anything bound to the one key in-game, then essentially nothing is going to happen. Lesson being, if you're trying to perform an action in-game that requires a specific key binding, you'll want the key combination of the mapped key to match up. Now, let me bring up this mapped key again in Iceboxer. I'm sure you notice this option down here that mentions round robin within the selected target. Without changing anything else, I'm going to check this box and export my settings. Here's what enabling this option does. I press my hotkey once, Iceboxer does its thing, and outputs the key combination to my first game window. You might be thinking, well, what about the other game windows? I thought the key combination was supposed to go to all of them. Well, that changes with the round robin checkbox enabled. If I press the hotkey again, the key combination now gets sent to my second window. I press it again and it goes to the third window. I think you can see where this is going. If I was to continue pressing the hotkey, it would continue to cycle through my game windows one at a time in order. Now, using the round robin checkbox is very simple and easy, but it doesn't give you much control over the order at which the game windows receive the key combination in question. So, let me show you another way to set up round robin. You've been hearing me mention steps within a mapped key prior to this point in the video, and now I'm going to show you where they come into play. I'll jump back into Isboxer, uncheck the round robin checkbox, and then create three more steps for a total of four within this mapped key. I'm only creating three extra steps to show that you don't necessarily need as many steps as you have game windows. Another quick tip is, if you create a copy of the original step, you can then paste that step right back into the mapped key so you don't have to recreate the actions listed within each one. You'll notice on each step, I'm assigning individual character slots for the targets as opposed to using all with current as I did before. All right, I'll export my settings to Interspace and show how this would work. Same layout as before, except you'll notice I now have four steps showing instead of just one. When I press the assigned hotkey, step one sends the key combination to its target, which is assigned to slot two. If I press the hotkey again, step two sends the key combination to slot three. Step 3 will then send the key combination to slot 5, and finally, step 4 will send the key combination to slot 1. As before, if you continue to press the hotkey, the mapped key will continue to cycle through the steps, and as you can see, this second method gives you much more control over the order in which things happen. Round Robin is a very nice feature to have available to you if you're looking to stagger certain actions in-game. Now, I did want to show how to set up a mapped key manually, and I'm going to move through this quickly because I've already covered all the basic terms. So, in the top left pane, find the key map that you would like to add a mapped key to. In the bottom left pane, right click on the words mapped keys, select new mapped key, and give it a name. In this mapped key's properties, set the appropriate hotkey. Is this a movement key? No, so I don't need the hold option. And I'll set this next option to pressed, which is just a personal preference of mine. Next, click on step one, which will bring up a new pane in the bottom right. Right click on actions, and when you do this, you'll notice there are a plethora of different actions to choose from. This is just one of the many reasons that ISBoxer is the most powerful multiboxing software available. 
nothing else comes close to its configurability. Unfortunately, I will not be covering any of these other actions in this video, but the ISBox wiki is a great place to start looking for more information on any of these. The action we're looking to use to do a straight key broadcast would be new keystroke action. Selecting that brings up some familiar options and I'll just breeze through these. I want to broadcast this window to all of my windows, so I'll select all with current, and I'd like to send control 5 to these game windows. I don't need round robin, so I'll leave that unchecked, and that's it. To recap, when I press my hotkey, which is 5, IS Boxer will then send Control 5 to all of my game windows. That's how this works. I would say that about covers the basics on mapped keys, but I would like to talk about one more thing that could potentially help users troubleshoot any problems that may arise. If you find that your newly created mapped key isn't working as expected, Iceboxer has a built-in debugging utility for you to use. You can access this utility by opening Iceboxer's in-game GUI and then clicking on the Debug tab. To test out your mapped keys, you'll want to enable the button option from the list and then click Show Debug Console. This will bring up another window which looks something like this. If you see the correct key combination in this window while pressing a hotkey, then ISBoxer is working as intended. This would indicate the issue you're having is most likely related to a conflict between the key combination that ISBoxer is sending and an in-game key binding. When you look at this, don't be confused by these weird numbers that you're seeing. That indicates that a modifier key is being sent as well as the keyboard character. Here's a list of modifier key codes that you might see. Also, if you're having trouble with only specific game windows, you'll want to open the Iceboxer debugger in those particular windows to test. Now, if you aren't seeing anything in the debugging window, make sure that you've correctly added your key maps to your character set and exported your settings from Iceboxer to Innerspace. Exporting your settings is necessary for any changes you make in Iceboxer. However, if that still doesn't work, or you're seeing an incorrect output in the debugging window, check the ISBoxer FAQ on the wiki for a possible fix. And of course, you can always drop by the ISBoxer forums or the live chat for some extra help. Finally, there are a few things to note about ISBoxer's mapped keys. Once in game, you'll notice there is a toggle for key maps and a toggle for broadcasting. Key maps and mapped keys do not require that broadcasting is enabled. In fact, it is recommended for almost all games that broadcasting is actually disabled during normal gameplay. Also, you won't find any mapped key actions for setting an automatic delay, any type of autofire, or any way to create an infinite loop. More often than not, those features are against the terms of service agreement of most games that Iceboxer is compatible with. If you do happen to play a game that does allow such actions, you'll have to set them up in the game itself and then have Iceboxer take advantage of that in-game setting. That concludes this video. As always, check out the Iceboxer site for further information. Mirai, out.